Assalamu alaikum and good evening. Uh, my name is Muhammad Mahmoud Allah Ahmad and this is my assignment one for computer programming SEAA 2413 section 3. In this assignment we have five problems and we uh, two questions for each problem. First, uh, MATLAB as a calculator. The question says define the variable x and t as x equal to 0.56 and t equals 6.7 then evaluate the following uh, equation uh, first of all we uh, write the variable in the matlab script file uh, x and t then rather write the equation in the correct form for example equation c to uh, multiply by x to the power of 4 minus 6 multiply by x to the power of 3 plus 15 multiply by x to the power of 2 plus 12 and we do the same thing for uh, b and c uh, also d uh, then uh, find the output for each equation as shown in the uh, slide from uh, command window in the MATLAB. Okay, now we continue with problem number one. Question two, define the variable a, b, c, and d uh, as the shown in the slide. So we have to uh, find uh, the value of a and b by using this uh, variable a, b, c, and d. So we write the variable a and b and the equation for c and d in the uh, MATLAB script file. Then, uh, then write the equation for b and, uh, and uh, for a and b. For example, equation a say uh, a multiplied by b divided by c plus d plus uh, d to the power, uh, multiplied by a uh, dot uh, divided by uh, b multiplied by c minus a minus b to the power of uh, dot to the power of two uh, multiplied by c plus d. And the same thing for equation B. Then find the value of A and B uh, as shown in the slide from command window after we run the program. Now we continue with problem A2 and uh, creating a modify array. The question says use single command to create a row vector assign it to a variable named A with five elements such that the last element is seven and the rest of the element are zeros. Don't type the vector explicitly. So we write in the uh, command window directly a uh, five equals seven, then find the vector that contain uh, five elements and last element is seven and others element is zeros. Then uh, the question number two in problem A2, the uh, question say using single command to create a row vector assigned to a variable named P with eight elements such that P equal one, two, three, four, five, then four, three, two. Uh, so we go directly to command window and write the, uh, this vector B equal one, then uh, colon one, uh, then colon five, uh, this is the first part for the vector. The second part is for uh, write then the colon minus one, then colon uh, two. Uh, after that, we press enter and find the new vector uh, as shown in the question. Uh, vector B, one, two, three, four, five, then four, three, two. We continue with problem A3, matrix operation manipulation. Define the vector B. It contains 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Then use the vector in mathematical expression to create the following vector. First of all, we write the vector B and then uh, find the vector A by perform element wise. Uh, find the vector B uh, perform element wise. So we write A equal 1 dot uh, divided by B b equal 1 dot divided by b dot to the power of 2 uh, also write the uh, vector c perform element uh, wise uh, v dot um, uh, divided by 2 and do the same thing for vector d e and f after that we uh, write uh, brand uh, vector a and brand uh, vector b and so on the, uh, the rest of the vector uh, we use uh, f brand f uh, to print the vector uh, as shown in the in the question, the form of the question such as uh, a, b, c, uh, d, e, and f. Uh, then write the f print f for all vectors to get the uh, correct form.
to continue with problem 3 uh, the second question define x and y vector as x equal 1 3 5 7 9 and y equal to 5 8 11 14 then use them in the following expression to calculate that uh, using n by element calculation okay we have uh, two equation equation a equation b and we have uh, two vector x and z so we write the uh, vector z by uh, write the correct form of equation uh, z equal x dot power of multiplied by uh, y dot the power of 2 uh, dot uh, divided by x plus y also the same thing for a second equation z equal x dot uh, multiplied by x dot the power of 2 minus y uh, minus x minus y uh, dot uh, multiplied um, power of 2 uh, then using the function f print f to uh, write the equation and uh, to write the vector in the correct form as uh, shown uh, in the slide uh, in the command window that uh, uh, equal uh, 1.3 at 9.3 uh, 7.5 24.6154 47.0556 76.6957 same thing uh, to vector b uh, for second equation now we continue with problem a4 discrete file determine the length of each uh, side of the diagonal parameter around the area of polygon where the coordinates of the point are known so we have the uh, polygon and the co its coordinator and we have the equation and uh, we use the input function so we go to the script file and write the x1, uh, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, and x4, y4. Use the input function to uh, write the uh, coordinator. Then after that, we uh, compute the length of the side. Uh, so we use uh, s1, s2, s3, s4, and d1, d2, and uh, use the right way to write the uh, com compute the length of the side. Uh, after that, we compute the length of the uh, diagonal uh, d1 and d2. Uh, then uh, find compute the parameter which sum of the four side uh, b equal s1 plus s2 plus s3 plus s4. Uh, then we uh, compute the area of polygon. Uh, so we have a equal absolute uh, the uh, following equation then use the uh, equation f print f to showing the uh, display the side of the diagonal uh, and also we use uh, parameter uh, f print f uh, parameter of the polygon and uh, display the area of the uh, polygon We still in the problem in four script file uh, the show uh, the question say if the pole is drawn with an initial velocity u and angle of elevation alpha write a program that calculated the velocity vertical and horizontal distance at interval tx max uh, divided by 10 seconds where tx is max is the time taken for the pole to reach the maximum horizontal distance so we have uh, some equation and uh, for time and velocity and we have to calculate the vertical uh, velocity vertical and horizontal and vertical and horizontal distance interval so we uh, write the h equal 0 0.1 and r 0 colon 0 0.1 uh, 0 multiplied by uh, 0 0.1 multiplied by 50 then z uh, 0 uh, 0.1 colon uh, 0 0.1 uh, colon then write the this uh, function uh, phi lb uh, then uh, write the largest r and for i equal one uh, numerals that uh, then find the b uh, that is square root for uh, one plus two multiplied by z multiplied by i uh, multiplied by r uh, to the power of two uh, dot divided by one plus r dot to the power of two plus two multiplied by z r multiplied by i multiplied by r then use the function f plus f uh, to uh, plot and write the uh, vertical and horizontal distance and velocity and we plot the graph uh, shown in the, the slide 
uh, and then we end the program uh, so this is the program we can use it to uh, calculate uh, the velocity vertical and horizontal distance also at interval of uh, 10 seconds now we continue with problem a5 the last problem uh, the simple 2d plot the question say plot the function y equal x uh, plus 5 to the power of 2 divided by 4 plus 3 uh, x to uh, the power of 2 for uh, x uh, from uh, interval uh, minus 3 to 5 uh, we have uh, interval for x and y and we uh, write this interval minus 3 uh, and uh, we uh, separate this with uh, 0 0.001 uh, to 5 and we write the equation for plot and we write the title and uh, y label and x label and then uh, the grade uh, after that we uh, run our program then find this graph that uh, showing the interval for function y now we continue with the last question uh, the question say make two separated plot of function y uh, y equal x plus y multiplied by x minus 2 multiplied by 2x minus 0 0.25 uh, minus e uh, multiplied by x so we have two intervals first interval from 0 to 3 and second interval from a to 15 so we uh, write the program in the script file for the both interval first interval is uh, x1 and second interval is x2 and x1 is started from 0 and separated to 0 0.001 until 3 then the second interval starts from uh, 8 uh, and uh, separated with uh, 0 0.001 until 15 uh, then we write the equation y1 and y2 and then uh, do the uh, plots subplots and uh, plots and write the title and y label x label uh, and the grade for the both uh, interval then after that we uh, get uh, this graph for uh, first interval uh, and the second interval as shown in the slide uh, that's all for me and for my assignment one thank you for your attention